I am Dr. Sanjay Gupta. I am a senior physician in Stanford Hospital in Kaikondra Halli in Bangalore. There are no medicines today which are devoid of side effects. We have not reached a level of perfection where we can bring out such medicines uh, without side effects. But it is always the risk-benefit ratio of any medicine we give today or we prescribe to a certain patient. So antacids, even though it, they look very benign, they look very innocent, there will be side effects. But it depends on the quantity, the dosage and the frequency of the dosage as well as the duration for how long are you taking those medicines. And that applies to every medicine actually. So whether you talk about anti-emetic, we talk about antacid and especially antibiotics. So antibiotics is a different category altogether. They are not so benign and so innocent as you can talk about antiemetic or antacids. And antibiotics, there are guidelines, there are regimes, there are protocols to be followed for antibiotics. And if you read uh, nowadays the news, we come to know that antibiotics are misused sometimes, overused, over the counter which is actually causing drug resistance in today's world and which is a severe menace. So I think side effects have to be weighed against the benefits what the medicines are giving and a doctor has a moral responsibility of looking into these side effects. The medicines to be avoided by any woman who is in 50s, I would like to bring a perception and a concept, both. Perception is that as you grow old, you require more medicines and you tend to be more careful of what medicines you take. And the concept is that in medicine, when we are giving treatment, we actually look at dose titration, looking at a pediatric individual or a teenager or uh, an adult or a geriatric individual. So as such, there is no medicine which says it is contraindicated in women in 50s. Unless until you come to know a condition in the body or a disease in the body which strongly tells you, which strongly contradicts giving a certain treatment because that can lead to complications or that can lead to more damage to the patient. So under a different setting, like if the patient has lung failure or a heart failure, or a patient has diabetes or blood pressure or a patient has neuropsychiatric problems. Generally what happens is in elderly individuals, I don't call a woman in 50s as an elderly lady, but generally I'm saying middle-aged to elderly, they have, they, their prescription tends to have polytherapy. So what I mean to say is polytherapy means there are more than two drugs, three drugs in the same prescription which they have to take. The whole idea is to be careful that there is no drug to drug interaction which can cause harm. So I think a doctor has to be careful as well as more intelligent when there's a polytherapy on a prescription. They have the carefulness and precaution is to avoid drug to drug interactions. Not exactly saying that what is contraindicated in a patient.